All right, guys, today we are taking a look at something that's old, even though I wish it was new, but it's a shoe that I really miss, and it's one of my favorite basketball shoes of all time. Oof, man, these are awesome. <laughs> Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we've got something a little bit different. Obviously, we're not taking a look at a new release. Instead, we're looking back at an old release, one of my favorite basketball shoes ever. This is the Nike Kobe 8 system. Now, before we get too far into the review, we do have a quick word from our sponsor, and that is from the good folks over at Soul Premise. Soul Premise offers plenty of luxury bags and goods. They're all TSA approved. They fit in the overhead compartment just fine. They also fit underneath your seat, like if it's the regular backpack which is my favorite thing also if you're into sports or basketball any kind of sport by the way so if you wear multiple shoes in your sport whether it's volleyball football soccer whatever i don't know but anyways if you like to wear multiple shoes or rotate your shoes out they've got this awesome bag you can get it right now for 40 percent off it fits up to four pairs of shoes in there one of which i'm pulling out right now because i want to talk about them too i love these things man kobe 8s are fantastic but anyways if you were interested in grabbing one of these for 40 percent off or any of the other stuff that they have make sure that you click the link in the description box it'll head you over to Soul Premises website where you can check out everything that they have to offer. So make sure that you use the promo code that you see right here on the screen. Again, it'll save you 40% off your entire purchase. And with that being said, I cannot wait to not be able to get a pro trail of this shoe. Are they doing that this year? I don't know if they're doing that this year, but we did just see leaks recently, which is what made me want to revisit these. Yeah, I've been wanting to revisit these, but then we saw the leaks. Basically, the leak was a, a sample pair, which are usually in all black, just in case you take pictures, or you're not supposed to take pictures if you're the wear tester, but just in case there were pictures taken of the shoe while you're out and about, like doing your thing, because they have uh, regular people like sign on to do, does it not look good? No, do what you usually do. Okay. There you go. Okay. Well, it I'll just do. looked like it was one elbow swoop away. It's one snake eating the other, you know what I mean? No, you were gonna send those flying. Probably. But anyways, we did see uh, some wear test samples of a Kobe 8 that was a Pro Tro, so like the year on the size label and everything was, was new. I think that this might be the next shoe. I don't know for sure, I'm just speculating. All I know is that if it is the next shoe, I'm gonna try to buy every colorway. Like I did last time, and I only have a couple left thanks to great people. People. like this one right here actually found on eBay. I've been just like scouring eBay. I'm still looking for the sulfur colorway, which is the black and yellow, the first launch. That one, aside from these ones, were my least favorite, but they have both become two of my most favorite. So however that works, I don't know. But uh, these ones right here were traded to me from uh, one of our wear testers Discord members. So if you're not part of the Discord, it's a great community. It also helps our channel out. It helps fund the channel because uh, YouTube ads suck. It helps us allow to get paid for all the work that we do here. I also have these over here. I don't know if anybody really cares, but. You have the ones behind you too. Yes, but I can't wear those ones. Well, there is those ones as well. These ones actually, this is probably like the most special pair that I have. Just because usually when your spouse pops a couple of kids out, you know, like when they when they do that because they're working real hard and everything, typically it's the guy that's supposed to buy a gift for the girl and instead you surprised me. She made these Kobe 8 IDs. Um, I've kept them all this time. They've got uh, my number uh, three on there and behind the tongue it's got both of our kids' names. So we've got Kara on one and then Eric on the other. So these ones are, are not made the same as the rest because they are an ID. So these ones are not as comfortable for me. Like they're stiffer in the toe area, which sucks because I would love to wear them a little bit more often, but I keep them as a shelf piece because I mean, they're cool. That was so risky, I remember making, because even though we had confirmed that Eric was a boy like five different times, I was just like, I'm putting his name on the shoe and what if he comes out and he's actually Quinn? We would have just <laughs> slightly changed it to just added an A at the end and say Erica, it's fine. You know what I mean? That wasn't the name we picked though. I know, I'm just saying though, I'm just saying. But anyways, this is uh, one of the best shoes ever. It's one of the best guard shoes. This is one of those shoes that cross multiple different players and their styles as well. We saw a lot of big guys playing in these things. What you see nowadays as well with the Pro Tro line, uh, you see guys even as big as Anthony Davis wearing stuff like that. What this shoe originally offered was herringbone traction. Obviously, we've got some scale patterns as well, playing into the, the Mamba theme and everything like that. And then we had a firm EVA 
cup sole, which was really, really interesting with a carbon fiber based shank plate at the bottom. But inside of here was where the system was. And they all came equipped with a Lunar Lawn drop in insert, which is really cool. This is also one of the shoes that had matching socks. Some of the colorways didn't need it because this one's got the full Shizoku logo on the back. I was going to ask why do some have the straight and some have some were for the socks. So this one that just has the two lines, your socks had the rest of it was it was slick. Okay, like it's dumb, but it's slick. Like I really liked it. But anyways, they had uh, different Lunar Lawn inserts. They're all the same. It's just, you know, obviously different colors. And I think the all star pair had the chip in it. That Nike Plus chip. Oh, I love the Nike Plus chip. Right, and then they also, I think, had Zoom Air in them. And there was also an Elite version. There was also a Lifestyle version that was all leather. The Kobe 8 was just the best shoe that year and one of the best shoes of all time. Now, the upper on these guys is a full-on engineered mesh, which is really cool. It's a little crispy in certain areas, but it's because of all the fuse and everything. So obviously you got fuse around the rands. Each one is a little bit different, but it allowed for prints. So you got three different styles right here. This is like the full on snake print. This one was more of a stained glass, but done up in a snake type of fashion. And uh, this one, I guess it's part of a snake. Like it, it is like a snake. I just don't know what kind. Just really cool things that you could do with fabrics in, uh, in footwear. So even though I love leathers and suede and stuff like that, I am not opposed to textiles when they're done really nicely like this and they feel great on top of that. They're just not very durable. I remember seeing so many of these busted up right at that pinky toe area because that's where like your lateral force is going through. So they weren't super durable, but man, while they lasted, like this is just one of them shoes, man. It just really is. Now, one of the things that I wanted to really talk about though, is what are they going to do with a Pro Tro, right? Because like they had us with the first one. So like, let me grab these real quick. This is still one of the best shoes that they put out in the last decade, I think. But this is slightly slimmed down in certain areas, like the midsole or the internals of the midsole is carved lower to the ground. They took out the original tech specs, which originally looked just like this. This is a large volume Zoom Air unit in the heel with a four foot Met bag. Zoom Air for days, but lots of court feel. I think it's awesome. Whereas the Pro Tro version, again, they slimmed down the tooling just a little bit and then they added a full length Zoom Air unit, which I think just makes these even better than they originally were. A little bit less clunky even though they're still a little clunky but it's an awesome shoe once you break it in and it has everything that i like on there too it's got crazy ass leathers on there there's suede on top of that like this one's split in half look at the traction man with the herringbone man they're built for indoors outdoors all the, they just don't make them like this like this compared to this is crazy because this is super lightweight flimsy still works but like i was saying earlier just not durable this one though is just a beefcake it's like a tank very big contrast between the two but that's what they changed in this shoe and then with the kobe 4 pro they kept the heel unit, but they changed the forefoot, which was originally Lunar Lawn. They just kept it as Kush Lawn and everything like that. And then with the five and six, they took out all of the Zoom Air, replaced it with Kush Lawn. And then the forefoot, they had Zoom Air Turbo, which is uh, really cool as cushion and everything because it took the Met unit, which was isolated to the ball of the foot, and they surrounded the entire forefoot with nothing but Zoom Air, which is cool. However, this is the tech. Can I hypothesize what they'll do? Yes, I would love to know. That's why we're doing this. They remove the drop-in midsole completely. You think so? And they just put the tech in. But what tech then? I don't know, but just one that you can't remove and the best that they can do in their budget. And if they do that, do you think that that ruins the original concept of the Kobe 8 system? No, because it's not like you can buy different midsoles to swap out anyways. Not separately. That's what I mean. Like you can't just walk yeah. in and buy the midsole. Although I think with this shoe, they were available on Nike ID. You think they'll do that again? No. So that's what I'm <laughs> so, saying. That's yeah. That's why I think they would just abandon that idea. Wow. Then if that's true, would you think they stick with the same theme, which is Kush Lawn four foot zoom turbo? And if they did, would you like that? Or do, does it need to be this? I don't think it needs to. This is ridiculously light. How did we play in this? <laughs> so not that it's bad or anything. I don't think that this is awful, but Kush Lawn is so much better than Lunar and, and Zoom Air is so much greater than no Zoom Air. I do think that that would be really interesting to turn this into a real shoe and not a drop-in type of shoe although we are seeing a resurgence of that with that wade shoe the wade 808s they did it with the hardens as well even though that was like not a great job but like the harden what was it the volume 5 that had a removable midsole there's got to be some other ones i think that there was with nike i just can't remember what they were I'm trying to come up with it off the top of my head and it's not working <laughs> Sorry. But anyways, I do think that's interesting. Do you think that they would change anything with the upper? No, because that's what you've always said is that the outside of the shoe still has to look exactly the same. Correct. 
bingo. So yeah, they actually couldn't. They'd be able to restructure it. So like they can, with the internal, like if you were to look inside, like you can see like kind of like the fuse webbing and then where there's just pure mesh and everything like that. But yes, it would ruin the look. But anyways, I just wanted to just kind of like revisit the Kobe 8s. I think that it's a fantastic shoe. When I think back on, on them, like obviously I think back of them real fondly, but when I see them in hand again and even put them on, it's the same kind of feeling where I'm just like, man, this is almost like an underrated shoe, even though it's one of the more popular of the, mo the model is, you know what I mean? Like between this and the nine, I don't know which one people favor more. It's just really interesting, especially when we bring in the Protro aspect. Because again, what do you do with something that was so perfect? How do you mess with this to where you don't lose what made them great in the first place? I don't know if we will see what you're talking about. If they do end up with new drop-ins, I can see them being Kushlon, maybe with some Zoom Air. It would be interesting if there was a bottom-loaded full-length Zoom unit. It would be interesting if it's like what you were saying, where it's a fully fixed regular shoe with maybe a Zoom Strobel that would be really cool that would be actually a good way to tie in like the kobe lineage with the six and have that mold to your foot insole like they put in with the kds and stuff so yeah i don't know what they would do but i would love to know everybody's thoughts if this is the next pro tro shoe the, the kobe 8 do you want them to be just like this or if they're getting pro tro for sure what are you going to do to make it a pro tro i don't know what they're going to do whatever it is i'm f excited and uh with that being said thank you guys so much for watching thanks for all the support and we will catch you guys on the next one i am so excited to hear your guys' thoughts. I need to know what all you guys are thinking for Protro. Again, they cannot change the visuals. So no fly net, no scales, no none of that stuff. It's got to be made like the original, but the insides are different. They're made for modern performance. So yeah, I would just love to know your guys' thoughts. Thank you guys so much for being here. And until next time, guys, have a good one.